All right, y'all. Shane Gentry here, the owner of Sally Said So Professional Dog Training. Um, we are here with Mr. Phillip, as you can see down here, and Miss Taylor, who just happens to be an expecting mother. A lot of you might not even know, we actually have a course called an Expecting Mother's Canine Preparation Course. Uh, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, 70% of dog bites in the United States are toddlers and in the face and head and, sh you know, the head and shoulders area. So most of them are accidents uh, and they're preventable accidents. Today we're gonna go over um, just a day in the life of, you know, and it's always better to be proactive than reactive. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Taylor. Well, let's um, get to know you and uh, your situation and, and tell us about how your pregnancy has been going and how has you, have you noticed any changes in your dog's behavior? Um, I haven't noticed any changes. He's a little bit more clingy, but not mm -hmm. bad. We've had him since he was about seven months old. Okay. He's almost four. Pregnancy's been going good. good. First trimester was horrible. Right. Um, but in the third trimester, I got about five weeks left. So I wanted to get everything situated and make sure we're on the right path for him for success and the baby. All right. So the first part of the Expecting Mothers Canine Preparation Course is place. That is super important. You should have place command anyways. When the pizza guy comes, your dog should be in place. When your company comes over, your dog should be in place. Um, it's just a great way for a dog to be calm in all types of situations. So we're gonna use that place command um, and we're gonna attach it to baby stuff. Now, next, I'm gonna teach boundaries. Boundaries at the baby room, all right? Now, we want the dog to be part of the family, part of the story, part of the situation, but not directly involved in what's going on. So we are going to teach a boundary at the door. We're gonna do a downstay in the hallway. So he's still gonna be, he's gonna be right there He'll be able to see everything. He'll be able to be involved in everything, but he will not be granted access into the room where all of the baby things will be happening. Okay. All right, so we're moving on to the next step and that's incorporating an actual pretend baby. Not a real baby. We're practicing with a pretend baby. So we are going to be living with this baby. How far along are you? Okay, uh, 35 oh. weeks. Okay, and when are you due? Uh, September 9th. September, all right. From now until September, we're gonna be living like baby's already here, okay? So everything we do is gonna involve the baby just like pretty soon when the actual baby's here. So uh, this is gonna desensitize the dog to this little critter. Other than the annoying noises that they make and smells that they make, it's at least going to look like there's a baby in the house, all right? All right, next up, healing with a stroller. Should Philip see a squirrel or something that gets his attention, um, we're practicing with a pretend baby, not a real baby. All right, so you've seen lots of expecting mother's skills today and how we incorporate the dog into new baby life. But the second part of this particular program is very important as well is 
what do you do with your dog? You can't, you can't neglect the dog. You can't not spend time with the dog. Uh, Cause I promise you, your dog will figure out how to get your attention and it's not going to be wash your dishes. It's not going to be fold your laundry. It's going to be an annoying dog behavior. So baby just went down for a nap. And so now we're going to have a little mama and puppy playtime. We've had baby time, we've had puppy time, and now it's mama time. But this is how you incorporate everything into the world so that the dog understands that these changes are just normal everyday changes. They just changes. It's no big deal. If you don't make a big deal out of it, your dog won't make a big deal out of it. Be smart, be responsible, and if you need help, we're here for you. That's what we do. We can come to your house and do this for you too.